Hello, my beautiful AP CSA computer science students. Welcome to another lesson in Unit 3, where I, Goldie, am going to take you through our fifth lesson in this unit called De Morgan's Law, or De Morgan's Laws, because there's two of them we are going to be talking about. Um, it's De Morgan's Laws. <clears throat> are going to have us working with Boolean expressions again, um, and we'll be able to kind of compare and contrast those different Boolean expressions. So let's go ahead and get into it. There are two of them that describe basically transformation rules in terms of Boolean expressions. Um, you'll see them a lot actually pop up in math classes um, under various names, um, just because it's a logical expression um, that we use. So before we before I just tell you what they are, um, I actually want to show you why they are true from a truth table and see kind of an informal proof of why they are the way they are. So let's start with the first um, De Morgan Law. So I just have a truth table. Let's just fill it out. And once it's filled out, I want to draw your attention to some things that happen. So I have my different combinations of A and B, true, false, true, false, false, true, false, false, all of that. Um, so the first row, A or B, we know A or B. A or B evaluates to true whenever both or either one is true. And then we have not A or B. Okay. So basically I take that A or B column and switch the logic on it. So it becomes false, 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 true. Next row, I have not A. So if I look at my A column, I'm going to switch those logical expressions to false, false, true, true. And then I have not B. Okay, so same thing, I'm going to take the B column and I'm going to switch those logical expressions. And then in my last one, I have not A and not B. So I'm going to take these last two rows that I got here and I'm going to compare them using the and. Okay. So that evaluates to false if both or one is false, and it evaluates to true when both are true. Okay, So I've reached the end. Okay. I want to draw your attention to two rows, two columns, excuse me, that are the same. Okay. This column and this column. False, 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 true. False, 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 true. So when you have two columns that are the exact same in a truth table, that means that they are logically equivalent. So they evaluate to the same thing no matter what A and B might be. And this is the first De Morgan law, okay? That not, and then in parentheses A or B, is logically equivalent to saying not A and not B. Those are logically equivalent. And there are situations that arise where we do need to know that fact or that fact can help us evaluate more complicated Boolean expressions, which we're going to see in some examples. That's the first De Morgan Law. Let's look at the second De Morgan Law. So same thing, truth table. We're going to take you through it and notice what columns are the same. So I start off with A and B. Let's start off with comparing A and B with the logical Boolean operator there. So I say, see A and B evaluates to true only when both are true. Okay. And then I have not A and B. So I'm going to take that A and B column I just figured out, and I'm going to switch those logical um, expressions to false, true, true, true. Not A, I switch the A columns. Not B, I switch the B column. And then this last one, A, not A, or not B. So I'm comparing these two columns with the or um, Boolean operator. So for that, as long as one or both of them are true, it evaluates to true. But when they're both false, like that top row, it's going to be false. So now what rows are the same? You got these two rows are the same. These two rows are logically equivalent, so those two statements, no matter what A and B are, are going to be logically equivalent. Okay. So let me summarize those two laws right here, Okay, two De Morgan laws. Now, um, it's I have students think of this as almost the distributive law for Boolean operators. 
that is incorrect, um, but it's a good way to kind of remember how they work. Okay, I don't want you thinking of this as distribution because okay? that's not what it is. Okay, but when you need to remember these two, thinking of distribution can be helpful. Okay, so think of distributing like that um, exclamation mark, and it turns to not A, it switches the logic sign, not B. Okay, so same thing here. It switches it to not A, switches that Boolean operator, and then not B. So it switches everything inside parentheses. Okay, that's, that's a good way to remember it, but again, it's not distribution, okay? That's not how this works. So you can't do the same thing like this and like distribute, it doesn't work that way, okay? So don't think you can just distribute that not symbol inside parentheses whenever you want, okay? That is, again, not how it works. But when you're looking for a way to memorize this, sometimes that visual of distribution can help. That's all I'm saying. It's not distribution, but the visual can help. Okay, those are the laws. Um, I am going to take you through four examples of multiple choice problems on the AP exam that um, that could be asked about De Morgan's Laws. Okay. Now these are not from the AP exam. I came up with these problems, but they are similar to what you might see on the AP exam. I should say that. <laughs> okay. So for example, which of the following is the same as the code below? All right. So notice how you have this not symbol in front. And then you have these expressions in here. Okay. Now in here you have a comparison. You have the or the and and then you have another comparison. Okay. And because you have a not symbol in front of all of that, okay, I want you to recognize that this is a useful tool for De Morgan's Law. Okay. So again, De Morgan's Law, it changes the two expressions to their, um, switches to their logical equivalent, logical unequivalent, <laughs> and then it switches that middle sign. Okay, so x less than or equal to 4, okay, if we put the not there, not x less than or equal to 4 is the same thing as x greater than 4. Okay. The and switches, sorry about that, to the or, and then not y not equal to 5 switches to y equal equal to 5. Okay. So which of those expressions is that going to be? It's going to be c. Okay. So De Morgan's Law works with expression, Boolean operator, expression. Okay. Expression, Boolean operator, expression. The parentheses in there are just to kind of help break up the, um, I should say the parentheses in here are just help to visually break up the, um, the operators there. Okay. Okay. So that's our first example something you might see. Second example, what does the following expression evaluate to? Okay, and you see your five options there. Ooh, okay, so how do you get start? Get started. Well first, I recommend using De Morgan's Law because De Morgan's Law will simplify some things so that then you're able to use a truth table more conveniently. Okay, so first I see this right here. I see the not operator in front of this, so I changed it to this, not x and not y. Okay. And then same thing over here. Okay. I see the logical equivalent here. So that changes to y or not x. Okay. So I was able to basically simplify this expression um, down a little bit. So that now I can actually use a truth table a little bit more conveniently. I want you to notice in order to solve the whole expression, I need to break it up into smaller expressions, right? So this would get evaluated first, because it's the ampersand, the and. Then this whole expression gets evaluated. And then the final big expression that I want to know what it evaluates to. Okay. So that's how I'm going to break down my truth table. Okay. So I'm going to break it up into not x, not y. And then I have this first expression I'm going to solve right here. 
This second expression I'm going to solve right here. And this third and final expression, what I'm after, is going to be solved last. And by using De Morgan's Law, I was able to simplify that whole expression into something that's a little bit more manageable on a truth table. A little bit more manageable. So let's evaluate. Not x, not y. Hopefully you're okay with those at this point. Not x, which is the x column. Not y, which is the y column. And then not x and not y means I'm comparing these two columns. Okay. So I can fill that out with false False and false is false. False and true, false and true are both false. And then true, true is true. Okay. Next, I'm going to take that column I just solved and I'm going to compare it with y. So I'm going to take this column and this column and compare them. And and and. Okay. So true so false and true, should do it in order. False and true is going to be false. False and false is also going to be false. False and true is going to be false. Okay. And then true and false is also going to be false. Okay. Aha. But that's not the end, okay? That always evaluates to false, but that's not the end game. My end game is this entire expression. So that entire expression is taking, excuse me, let me clean some of that up. That entire expression is taking what I just found and using it with the not to x, okay? So this and not x are what I'm going to be finding, and I'm going to be comparing them with an or, okay? So false or or false is false. False or false, false. False or true is true. False or true is also true. Okay. False, false, true, true. Okay, I got my end expression. Now what? <laughs> now what happens? Well, recognize when you look back at the tape, when you look at the choices, this end result, it's not always true and it's not always false. Okay, not always true, not always false. There's falses and trues. So look at the rest of the table. When is it true? Okay, this ends up being true only when not x is true. Okay, true only when not x is true. It's not true when when y is true, okay? It's not true when x is true, okay? It is true only when not x is true. Sorry, I'll go back there so you can see. C is your correct answer for that one. Love Booleans, love truth tables. They're gonna help us a lot in using these um, using these multiple choice questions, and then De Morgan's Law, remembering those makes it even easier. Could you have solved this using a truth table without De Morgan's Law? Definitely, okay? But in my opinion, it made it a lot easier. It cut down on the number of columns that I had to use. Okay, two more examples. Two more examples. This one, which of the following best describes the outcome? Okay, so again, another outcome one. Using De Morgan's Law, let me simplify it. And then let me make a truth table. So I need to figure out what not x and not y are first because I use both of them. And then this gets evaluated first. When I have two ands, it's order from left to right. So that's going to get evaluated first. And that's why I have this column here. And then the whole expression is this last column here. Okay, because, excuse me, because this is what's right here. Okay, <laughs> let's do the not x, not y's first. Okay, fill that in. Now let's get to comparing. This is comparing x and not y. So x and not y. x and not y, this ends up being true and true, or excuse me, true and false. True and true, true and false, or false and true. Oh my goodness, what's going on? False and false, false and true. Sorry. 
And then this last one, we're comparing this expression, so what we just did, with a not x. So this one right here. Okay, and, 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 and. So a situation where it's always false. Okay, no matter what x and y are, that is always going to be false. Okay, last example here. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. Again, which of the following best describes the outcome of the Boolean expression? Okay. I see a little De Morgan slice right in here. Okay. So notice about these parentheses, I got double parentheses here. And that means that I used De Morgan's law right here, but then this is still in parentheses. Okay. Same thing, the ors are in parentheses, meaning that I'm going to evaluate them first. If there were no parentheses around the ors, I would evaluate the and, the in between first. Okay. But because there's parentheses, I evaluate the ors first. So let me set up my truth table. If you want to pause the video at any point and just like do it yourself and see what you get, go for it. Okay, but I'm going to show you what the answers are right now. Okay, I need my not A and not B column. I'm going to compare not A or not B, okay, which gives me my false true, true, true. My second or statement is B or A. So I just compare the B or A, true, 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 false. And then the last one, I'm comparing this column and this column with an and. Okay. So comparing it with an and, I get false, true, true, false. Okay. So in my last column, I can see it's not always true and it's not always false. Okay. So when is it true? Is it true when B or A is true? Um, nope, because B or A is true right here and it actually ended up being false, so it's not E. True when A and B are different values or when A and B are the same values, okay? Well, when A and B are the same values, I get a false, okay? When they're the same values, I get a false, okay? So it's not when they're the same values, it's actually when they're different values, because look, A and B are different, A and B are different, true and true, okay? So it's gonna be C true when A and B are different values. There it is. All right, that brings us to the end of today's computer science lesson. Thank you guys so much for following along and I will see you next time.